Hey YouTube, what is going on? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating more new features in iOS 5 Beta 1. In this video I'm going to be primarily focusing on the photo application and the camera application. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open up the camera application here. As you can see here, everything as far as the layout looks pretty much the same, but there is this new option button up top here. And HDR photos was a feature of iOS 4, so I'm not going to go over that, but this new grid line feature is new in iOS 5. As you can see here, it adds these nice grid blocks, which can really help you to compose a shot exactly the way you want it. Another new feature in iOS 5 is the ability to take photos using the volume up button. Let's go ahead and show that to you now. And this is a uh, great benefit, especially if you're holding the camera or your phone in one hand, and it's easier to steady it that way than having to uh, press this button. You can just simply press this button right here and take the photo, which is kind of nice. So that's pretty much the new features in the camera application. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the photo application. So let's go ahead and open it up here. And let's just go ahead and open a photo that we just took. As you can see here, there is now a button that says edit, so you can edit your photos now. Let's go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, four features have appeared here at the bottom to edit your photo. This first one will allow you to change the orientation of your photo, like so. This next feature is an auto enhance button, which will make the colors more vibrant of your photo. So let's go ahead and press that. As you can see here, the grain of the wood looks a little bit more detailed. This next feature is a red eye remover. Now, since there's no actual red eye in my photo, I'm not going to go ahead and use that feature. But it'll allow you to remove red eye where it is detected by simply tapping where it is on the photo. This next feature is a crop button. So you can constrain the photo to whatever you want. Let's go ahead and choose 3 by 5 And as you can see here, it uh, proportionally um, cut down the photo. And if we wanted to, we could go ahead and press crop and it saved the photo like that and you can always go ahead and then just save the photo the way you edited it to your camera roll so that's pretty much all there is to it that has been an inside look at the new features in the camera application in the photo application leave a comment below and let me know what you think about these features uh, subscribe and like the videos and as always have a nice day